For sure, not so much about Jeff, but just about his own performance. Uh, oh, yeah. PLC, PLC, look at this big there. section, big air. The oh. French phenom, PLC, Pierre Louis Costa, unbelievable. She's what a great way to open up the heat. You could like a p absolutely picture perfect air, soft landing. Uh, that's going to be a great score for Pierre. And uh, you can see how bad he wants it too. These guys are all focused on the job at hand, and one heat, Woo. they're going heat by heat and wave by wave. And Pierre definitely is sitting in a good contention after that wave. Amazing. PLC, uh, that, you know what? I'm noticing a lot of these guys, if they get a chance, they want to get that first big move. You saw in the last year with Ben Player right off the bat. So PLC saw that. He did it right here, waiting for that score to drop. Woo! Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what that score is. Um, is yeah, the score, the scoring has been so consistent here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just pretty interested to see what they score. That's, um, it's great to be able to sit here and watch and see the scores dropping so that I have a few inside tips for when I go out there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking to, to learn a bit from this experience as well. All right, so thank you for sitting in the hot seat for a while. Jared Houston, any last many, words yeah, before just, you take off? Uh, yeah, just um, a shout out to Natasha. It's our one year anniversary today. So, um, what? Yeah, so oh, pretty, pretty special day. You want to blow her a kiss? She's right yeah, there watching. I don't know if I'll blow her a kiss, but uh, te amo mi vida <laughs> y te veo pronto. Go, whoa. Cool. Yeah, speak a bit of Spanish now. But, uh, Hablas yeah, español, amigo. Mira esto, Thomas Rigby. Bottom turn through the lip roll. All right, Jared Houston, thank you one more time. Cool. And uh, Thanks, good luck in your heat. Thanks, man. Have a good one. You got it. Jared Houston. Speaking Spanish, unbelievable. Well, I guess you got to do what you got to do if you want a you know, beautiful girlfriend like Natasha from Puerto Rico. Si habla español y quieres... Uh, Estar con una novia de Puerto Rico, debes hablar español. Así es, y Jared Houston knows that. So there he is, Jared Houston. Thank you one more time. Back in the hot seat, coming around the section is Dallas Singer. What's he going to do with this section? Gets out of there just in time. Look at that. Just sucking off the reef. Greg Taylor, back in the commentator booth. What did you see out there? I just saw an amazing heat. How good was that? Benny uh, Player, look at him. He's smiling. He uh, wasn't too sure about the decision to push on to the third round. He knew he, it was all on the line for him. He had to win that heat. Yep. He wanted to do it in the best conditions. He took on the world's number one, and he uh, he nailed it. First Look at place, this. and he's through. Whoa. In blue, Adam Cabrera in the blue jersey. He pulls off a roll, and he actually doesn't pull it off. He's now he's on the reef. Again, it's getting crazy out there, people. The tide is dropping. The reef is now becoming more exposed, and it is getting more shallow. But the waves are still coming in, three to four foot, occasional five foot monster section that these guys are eyeing up like this guy. PLC sneaks under the pocket. Is he going to come out? He's deep in there, uh. finds it. Oh, looks like the foam ball just grabbed, held, he grabbed onto his legs and tucked him in. He could not pull it off. PLC caught in the whitewash. Well, that first wave of Pierre's was a cracker he got a seven don't think you'll get too high a score for that one it was a cracking barrel but it couldn't pull out only a 1.5 many but interesting heat this one you look at the scenarios we've got pierre louis costes it's the main focus he is on eight points on the leaderboard he needs at least a second place finish to book himself a place in the final 16 and you know, that's critical joe clark unfortunately we won't see him anymore but back to the current heat in the water we have Dallas Singer. He's only on five points. Who have we got there? That is Dallas Singer. He's not going to come out of that, I don't think. Uh, but uh, no, he got Wow, look up. at him. He's still getting worked. <laughs> I mean, he cut out of that wave, and he comes up, and then another side wedge just slaps him in the face. Again, it's very dangerous, very scary on that inside. It is, man. Yeah, Dallas Singer, he needs to win this heat to stay alive in the final round of 16. Then you have Thomas Rigby. He's in the same situation as... Pierre Louis Costes. He's not in contention for a world title, but he needs to at least come second to book himself a place. And then on the back of that, Arian Cabrera, probably been the, one of the stronger of the locals, uh, he's on seven points. Again, a second place. So all these guys, Dallas needs to win it. The other three can come second. But there's the leaderboard. Jeff Hubbard, not only is he the world champion, former world champion, number one contender for this year, is the current leader, but he's the current leader on the leaderboard as well. He is all the way through. There's no doubt he's in round four because he's top of the leaderboard. Ryan Hardy, he's already safe. Ben Player, he's just surfed through. He's safe as well. So keep in mind, viewers, if you've got score above 10 points, you're, you're pretty much safe. Uh, and, but it's the top 16 we take. So you can see at the moment, uh, you know, all the way down to eighth position is 10 points. But if we go on to the next, next graphic, you'll see 
Uh, yeah, at the moment, well, up and running, Tom Rigby. Thomas Rigby, be eyeing a big section. Oh my! I Ouch. can't believe it. Hey. Hold it on, and he pulls it off. Be very careful on that inside, Thomas. Bit is very dry on that inside section. Will he be scored a complete ride? I hope so. He was out in front of that whitewash. Big, big aerial assault from Thomas Rigby. I know for a fact there's only a, a few amount of bodyboarders who will eye a big section like this. Bang, and keep going. Mind, Boom. this kid's only 20 years of age. He Ooh. just caught that. He's a big kid. He must be six feet tall, but not a lot of weight on him. But he hit that with no fear. And there it is. Showed great strength to hold on to the board, Manny. We've seen so many riders in that same situation lose the thing. But of course he held on. He had the strength and conviction to hold on. The judges award him a 7.5. Leap him Ooh. into first place. And, you know, all's looking very good for Thomas Rigby five minutes into this final. But he is an amazing talent. Really excited to have a guy of Tom Rigby's calibre on the 2012 World Tour. He's booked himself a top 24 seed for next year. 18 years of age, sorry. He's only young, isn't he? But he's a huge talent. Wow. Not only a huge talent, but he's pretty huge too. I didn't know he was that young. I knew he was a teenager, but... Holy mackerel, he's almost six feet tall. Yeah, and look, I, he's coming through the ranks in Australia the last couple of years and he's had, a lot, you know, I guess a lot of expectation on him is the next big thing and he works under Mike Stewart uh, as his mentor on the science team and you know, he's done an amazing job and it's quite often a young kid at age of 16 when he had all the attention, a lot of people will don't cope so with that or fall out of the spotlight. Tom Rigby's gone from strength to strength. At the start of the year we saw at Pipeline with a second place. Now he's qualified for next year's World Tour, and he's rattling the cages of the world's best here at Fronton. What do you think it is? What do you think is holding him together and keeping focus on, on you know, the big prize, which is a world title? I think it's two things, Manny. Uh, first and foremost, I'd say it's his mum. His mum, uh, Susie, uh, she's amazing support. She's hugely involved in the sport. Great support for Tom and uh, you know, a, a lovely lady as well. So, you know, he, he's got that base, that grounding of, you know, great parents, and, you know, uh, and the other key thing, I think you can't dismiss the role that Mike Stewart's played in Tom Rigby's career, uh, Mike was smart enough to pick up Tom Rigby as a young guy and has mentored him through, and, uh, you know, he, to me, he's got a similar physique as Mike, he's tall and lanky, uh, and there's a lot of commonality in their surfing, but he's also formed his own style and made his own impression, and look, uh, you know, he was the protege and he's going to be in the next year's World Tour. Mike Stewart won't. You know, it's just that's how the tides have turned. And But Tom Rigby, uh, huge talent, huge prospect for the future and uh, great to see him on the tour. But 22 minutes to go, Manny, what's the situation? Okay, so Thomas Rigby and PLC holding steady first and second. These two guys need to come in first and second if they want any chance to advance on to round number four. Adam Cabrera in third, Dallas Singer in fourth. These two guys, unfortunately don't have the points to uh, add on to make it in to round number four. No, no, or do I stand corrected? Stand corrected, but while we do, look, Pierre getting a little bit frustrated. Anybody from this heat can make it through. Our, uh, Dallas Singer needs to win. That's the other right. three guys can come second and they'll get through. So two guys from this heat will progress to the final 16. So, and it's almost like a traditional heat. The top two are more than likely going to go through. Uh, so, in you know, a very important heat and Hey, let's well, let's look at Dallas Singer here, Manny. All right, Dallas Singer holding steady, hitting the brakes, and now releasing his rail full speed ahead. Big invert right there, free oh. falling into the flats and pulls it off. Dallas Singer, these guys, as soon as they hit these big sections on these rights, they're easily free falling. Is somebody in that barrel? Cameraman is holding steady on that wave. Is somebody going to come out? Whoa. Yes! Adam Cabrera from way behind, deep in the barrel, comes out. Unbelievable. So Dallas Singer falling out of the sky and Aram Cabrera coming out of the big barrel. Thomas Rigby in yellow. Big cylindrical roll on that wave right there. Nice wave for a beautiful wave exchange right there. Three guys, three nice maneuvered waves for these guys. Thomas Rigby, Aram Cabrera and Dallas Singer. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, what a great exchange and it's going to be fascinating to see these scores drop. I'm guessing after all these scores drop, you'll see Pierre-Louis Costes back in fourth position. Oh, wow. So... Ariam Cabrera, the local man, amazingly deep barrel. He comes out of that. Again, he knows this reef as well as anyone. Dallas Singer, he, big invert. You know, he needs a 7.1 to jump into second. Oh, it's going to be close. But let's have a look at some of these highlights. The first one's Dallas Singer. Picks off a nice set. He can see the lip, and he's up there. He wants to hit it. And bang, good timing. Look and how far uh, he drops. 
and crash. Oh, Pierre's under the oh, lip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. PLC coming out of that barrel with a, the spit from the wave. Oh, ho, ho. live action with PLC. Unbelievable. So those scores are dropping, as I said. Ariam Cabrera for that deep barrel we saw got a 7.0. He leaps frogs into second place. Still waiting for Dallas to sing a big hit. Invert score to drop. There it is, 8.75. Let's have a look again, Manny. The judges love this. Well, look at it. Full speed ahead, and look how far he drops from the top of his aerial maneuver. Another 10-foot drop and lands it perfectly. So big air right there for Dallas Singer, an 8.75. He gave himself a little pep up after that. But then the next one was Pierre. He was sat here in the barrel. Yeah. As it stands, Pierre was in fourth place. The scores just dropped for that. Oops, sorry, that's Ariam Cabrera. <laughs> he was so deep, we didn't know who it was. Yeah, both but, uh, of these guys getting deep barrels, but it was Thomas Rigby. Look at this exchange, man. It just won't stop. It was insane. Thomas getting a 4.65 on that wave right there. He's currently in second, but look at PLC. This wave has scored him a 6.5, and the judges loved it. So now PLC in the red jersey from France. 13.5 is the sum of his two top waves, 7.0 and 6.5. Well, look, it's such a, it's a great heat, man. It's so open still. We're only 12 minutes into it. It's been action-packed, the highest scoring heat. And again, the waves have turned on. There was a bit of indecision about whether we go ahead. The charts didn't lie. We nailed it. But look at this. Pierre, 13 and a half. He's in the lead. Dallas Singer. Well, let's have a look at our uh, Thomas Rigby. All right, Thomas Rigby in the yellow jersey, punches through the lip, nice roll right there. And that is all she wrote for Thomas Rigby on that wave. Quick in and out wave, but with a big roll through the lip. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Adam Cabrera pulling Woo. in deep. Is he going to make it out? Yes, wave stays open for him. And another barrel ride for Adam Cabrera. He's adding, uh, clocking some serious tube time out there. Dallas Singer up and riding. Wow, just won't stop, man. He goes Dallas Singer, he's back up to the lip. We've seen this before. <laughs> He's done it straight away. That's not a replay, Manny. That's another wave. Oh Dallas my. Singer, all of a sudden, he's got an 8.75 in the bag. Oh, now Pierre's up. PLC looking for a left backflip. That's what we've been waiting oh. for. Uh-oh. It has come unhinged on that wave right there for PLC as he pulls it around. Dallas Singer trying to add on, or better, his 1.4 wave, which is his second high score wave, and that wave right there will do it for him. Wow, interesting to see where all four of these waves, what you're seeing on your screen right now, all these riders have one wave to be tallied, and we will sit, wait patiently with you as we wait for the judges to drop the scores on each of these riders' waves. Unbelievable. PLC, Thomas Ribby, Adam Cabrera, Dallas Singer. This is it. The action packed in oh, this heat. Amazing, amazing. Woo! Many. All the scores are yet to drop. Dallas Singer, he only needs a 3.4 to jump into second, and he only needs a 4.75 to jump into first. With that last wave, he's every chance of doing that. Let's have a look at a couple of these replays. It's been so many. This was Thomas Rigby's first wave. I think it was a nice, strong roll up under the lip. Nice melt. If he's trying to replace a 4.65, he needs a 6.0 to jump into first place. Uh, it'll be close. Let's see what the judges have to say. The judges are busy. They've got four scores to drop. Here was Ariam Cabrera. So Adam Cabrera is clocking in some serious tube time, I believe. Yes, that score came in at a 7.35 for Adam Cabrera. Nice, long barrel ride and, you know, doesn't carve at the end. And then this, Dallas Singer. Manny, this is his second one. He's, he's just dropped a 7.25. This look, bang, big invert, perfect timing. Steadies himself is, yeah, oh. But Manny, this is unbelievable. Scores are still dropping. Pierre has gone from first place back to third place in the space of five minutes. Um, we're going to have a look at Dallas Singer's wave again. This was the big invert that got him a 7.25 and rocketed him into first place. And that's amazing surfing. Look how far he drops down from the highest point of his air to the bottom of the wave. Easy, a 12-foot drop, and he holds on. And it was just amazing that these guys are able to pull these things off, holding on after some harsh landings. It's unbelievable what these guys are doing. PLC. This is PLC's one. He flipped it round, but he just caught the rail, Manny, and oh, he dug it in. This is where we start getting a bit nervous. 15 minutes to go. Um, and Pierre's in trouble. But before we get into any more scenarios, let's throw out to Shaggy, who's got the last heat winner. Over to you, Shaggy. Um, down here at Ben Play, one of the last heat. Hello. Ben, you could have come in after two waves. Yeah, I was pretty lucky. I um, The heat started and I just opened up with two good rides straight up. So 
I was in a pretty comfortable lead, and um, it was kind of scary actually because Jeff, who I regard as being the best bodyboarder in the world, just came from behind and did two massive reverse airs later on in the heat and got massive scores. And I was like, mm -hmm. because I pretty much needed to get a you know first or second um, to advance into the uh, into the finals round. So I was I was crapping myself. How was that um, that backdoor beauty you got? Yeah, that was pretty nice. Hey? I was um, I was pretty stoked to get that and get a nice little barrel, but. To be completely honest, it didn't really feel that good, and I got the score of an eight, and I was like, whoa, that's a pretty high score for that. But anyway, you just go with it when you get it and complain when you don't. <laughs> You'll take that, hey? So congratulations to round four. A um, little shout-out to your brother, maybe? Hey, Tobes. How you going, brother? Hopefully you're sitting next to a lovely little lady. Woo! Yeah, how's the Tobes? <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> ben Player, brother, Toby Player, who is uh, probably watching live in Australia, but uh, yeah, Ben Player uh, a little was shaking in his boots for a second there at the end of that heat. I'll tell you who's shaking their boots at the moment, man. He's Pierre Louis Costes. Yes, that he doesn't want to be in this position unfolding. right now. He has just walked into a storm, the highest scoring heat we've seen for a long time in this competition. You would have thought he's nailed a seven and a six point five. Most other heat that combined score of thirteen and a half. If it didn't give you first, it would give you second. But he's up against an on-fire Dallas Singer who needs to win to progress through. Dallas Singer's nailed two massive inverts on the right, an 8.75 and a 7.25. He's in first place. The local, Ariam Cabrera, he's just been tucking himself in the pit and barrel riding his way to second place. Two amazing barrels, 14.35. All of a sudden, Pierre is in unfamiliar territory. He's in third spot. He needs a 7.35 to jump into second and ensure himself to remain in contention for this world title. It could all end here, man. This could be the last 12 minutes of the world title race for Pierre-Louis Costes. So guaranteed Jeff Hubbard is watching intently in this heat to see where PLC will end up at the end of this heat. Heat number four, actually heat number five, round number three out in the water at 12 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. And uh, yes, this could possibly be the end of the road for PLC's world title hunt but you know 12 minutes 30 seconds remaining anything is possible from this French phenom PLC yeah, Pierre Louis Costa in saying that even if he finishes second Manny just to be very clear he gets two points finishes on 10 points and will be in the bubble so all I'm saying all we're saying is if he finishes in the top two for sure he's safe to get through to the final 16 if he finishes third He's on the bubble, and we've got to sit there and shoot right now. But here he's up and riding. Big section coming out, Whoa! PLC. Nice air, nice landing right there, and that could help his cause right now. PLC carves, looking for something else to do. He's coming all the way to the shallow end of the reef. You no! can see him looking to the inside. Big roll on the inside. Get out of there before he runs into the rocks. Oh, my he God. He claims it. PLC. Manny, the, we have just seen oh what, how much this means to Pierre-Louis Costa. That was scary to watch. That is reminiscent of GT in yes. Chile, but this, that is Woo. just amazing. Pierre-Louis Contez on the ropes, his world title under threat, and he comes out, busts a massive invert. Most people would be happy oh. just to hold on to that. He rides it all the way through. We have not seen a single rider go all the way through. Last person who did this was Dallas Look at Singer. Him. Look at him. He's looking on the inside and to see where he's at. He wants to make sure he has time and position. Look at him. Looking forward to make sure he's clear of rocks. And, and then he keeps his eyes on this section. And bang, another roll. Manny, that is meters in front oh. of a <laughs> cliff face. They are the rocks right there. Bang. That's where the rocks Scary. are. Scary. This guy put it all on the line. Claimed it. Got a 7.85. Fired himself back into second position and back into contention for the world title. Oh, amazing, amazing Ooh, stuff. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Unbelievable. PLC, 10 wow. minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Now he's chasing an 8.16 to get into that first place spot, but he's sitting comfortably in second to advance on to round number four. Dallas Singer still in first place. Adam Cabrera looking for a 7.51 for second or an 8.66 for first. Thomas Rigby. 8.51 and a 7.36 for Thomas Rigby. Oh, Manny. Look, Pierre-Louis Costez is in contention for this world title because what he did in Puerto Rico. And we're going to go there and have a look at some of these highlights, but this is just an amazing contest. Yes, PLC. This is where he won his first Grand Slam Series event in Puerto Rico. And uh, he walked away with a win and 
a shot at the world title. And here he is, big back flips, big air maneuvers left and right. Being his first Grand Slam Series win, he took it all in. So PLC now still on the hunt. Here we are in heat number five, round number three. Woo! Intense. Oh. Now it's just setting the stage for what we're going to see in the final day of this competition. We've still got two days of broadcast left after today, but you've just seen the commitment that Pierre-Louis Costa has showed on that last wave to keep himself in contention, but up and riding. Here he is here, Aydam Cabrera in the blue jersey from the Canary Islands, trying to piece something together, looking for a 7.51 to get in back into that second place spot. I don't think that was enough, but you know, nice to keep the, the muscles warm. Ah, uh, for sure. And uh, look, again, in any other heat, that probably would have been enough. And there's Jay Finlay heading down for the next heat, which is another stacked heat. It just oh. doesn't stop. <laughs> Dave Winchester from Australia. Eda Luciano from Brazil. Mitch Rawlins and Jason Finlay also from Australia. So the Aussies, they're out there with the Brazilian in the next heat, which you know, is going to be amazing. But we still have eight and a half minutes remaining here. For this heat, Pierre-Louis Costes keeping the dream alive. He just, he's got a combined score of 14.85 and is in second position. But Dallas Singer also keeping the dream alive. He could finish first in this heat. He'll be through to the round of 16 in the next day of competition. So it's all on the line. Ariam Cabrera, the local, in third. And Thomas Rigby, he's in fourth. He ends up, finishes in fourth. That'll be the end. That'll be the end of him for this competition. So Thomas Rigby needs a 7.36 to improve his position and get up and put himself into the next day of competition, Manny. Check out the guys getting ready for the next heat. Dave Winchester in red, Edder Luciano in white, Mitch Rollins in yellow, Jason Finlay in blue. Conditions are looking prime for some serious aerial assault from all of these guys. It's going to be an exciting heat to watch. That's coming up next. Oh, my, that thing is stacked. Oh, again, it just Woo. doesn't stop, mate. But, uh, yes. Just under eight minutes left now. So we've had a bit of a lull in the action, but wow, it was a frantic start to this. We've seen, I can look at the scoreboard, Many We've got an 8.75 and a 7.25 for Dallas. We've got for Pierre, we've got a 7 and a 7.85. For Ariam Cabrera, he's in third place, and he's got a 7 and a 7.35. An average score of over 7, and he's in third place. And Thomas Rigby, he started off with that very powerful 7.5 and he's in fourth place unbelievable 12.65 still not enough to get him in contention for the final 16 of this tournament definitely one of the highest scoring heats of the day and uh wow amazing 16 points is what dallas singer is holding on to in that first place spot look at these guys downstairs getting ready yeah you've got again dave winchester he's already through he's safe chase finlay he's through he's safe i think we've got to replay here manny we just missed one of Pierre. He's dropped himself into the barrel. Talk us through it. All right. Slides straight into Whoa. the pocket and holds on to this rail. Full speed ahead and finds the opening. PLC. He, he's, and before he comes out, cranks a nice tight spin under the lip and a great wave. It actually has become his second high scoring wave of a 7.5. So add that to 7.85. Now he is pretty far ahead of Adam Cabrera. PLC with a 15.35 to Ayram Cabrera's 14.35. Ayram chasing an 8.0 for second and an 8.66 for first place. Okay, a little lull in the action. Many will have a word from our sponsors.
sweet spot for a big air. And look how far he drops down to the flats of the wave. Big, big landing and really harsh, but holds on steady. Good big air maneuver for Dallas Singer. Unbelievable. Manny, we sort of skipped over how important this heat is to Dallas Singer. Not only did he need to win to get through, and look at there's his spirit with his partners in crime watching. And then you've got Jake Stone, he's got the, um, there's Andrew Lester, Jared Houston, and Ben Player. <laughs> Jake Stone, Real man, characters. he's a character. And there's Kay Chubb, unfortunately he didn't make it through to the main event, but he's sponsored there by Grand Flavor, one of our you know, broadcast partners. And Mike Stewart, true professional, didn't pack up his bags and go home. He's sitting there to watch this all unfold, even though you know we had that amazing situation where he will not qualify for the 2012 world title. But... You know, Mike's still sitting there, said the ultimate professional, the ultimate gentleman, watching all this go down, and uh, hats off to you, Mike. True legend. But back to Dallas Singer, Manny, very quickly. We've been talking that Dallas Singer had to win this heat to progress to the round of 16. But what we skimmed over was Dallas Singer needed to get to the round of 16 to book himself, confirm himself a place for next year's World Tour. So not only he has pulled out all the big guns in such, probably the most important heat of his life, and... Uh, now, still two minutes to go, and anything can happen. But if Dallas Singer can hold down first, he will secure himself a top 24 berth for next year and a berth in this event's round of 16, Manny. Uh, unbelievable. Ayram Cabrera, the local, finds that sweet inside right-hand wave that we seen earlier uh, by Ryan Hardy, and he finds one right here. Not as clean or long as uh, Ryan Hardy's earlier inside right-hander, but Ayram Cabrera found it. Nice barrel ride and comes in. I think that would be the end of the road. One minute and 30 seconds remaining. Is he going to paddle back out? He probably will head out just to come around to the other side of the reef there. But PLC holding steady in second. Dallas Singer in first. Thomas Rigby in fourth. So big, big heat for Dallas Singer. Yeah, no, that's you know, signs of true, you know, true professionals is you know when you have it all on the line, which Dallas did. He would have been very aware of the scenario in front of him. He was out there against the French phenom, as you like to call him, Manny. And, <laughs> you know, this guy, he hasn't been beaten in the last three contests. He's on fire. Dallas had to go out there, take on Pierre, beat him to secure himself a place on next year's tour. And so, yeah, well done, Dallas, and let's see if he can hold on. Ariam Cabrera's last wave dropped of a 6.25. Again, he's, as you saw that wave come across, it was bubbling across the roof. This tide is getting low. It's going to get hairy. We're in heat five. We've still got heat six, seven, and eight to go. Three more rounds. By the end of that many, these guys will be surfing on dry reefs. So uh, if nothing else, stick around for that because there could be some serious stuff going down. Unbelievable. Look at this little paddle battle. Thomas Rigby, PLC. And it looks like uh, in priority is PLC. And here he comes. Under the oh. left. Uh, and oh, my. Ooh. Big backflip. That is the PLC. We are <laughs> known uh, we know to love it is PLC big backflip. Oh, hold the phone, Manny. That was a big backflip. If he can get an 8.16 for that, he'll jump into first place, and all those scenarios about Dallas Singer become non relevant. Oh my. I don't know. Let's have a look. Is this an 8.16? Up, big backflip. Well, we Whips it around. We talked to a couple riders earlier, and they talked about this little wedge section. Did he land behind the wave and continue on on a different wave? Or is that the same wave? The judges are going to have to determine that right now. The horn has sounded. That oh, is the end Manny, of the heat. Hold your breath, Dallas Singer supporters. What is going to happen? Will Pierre get an 8.16 for that last wave and send Dallas Singer packing? This is, no, 7.4 has dropped. You're safe, Dallas. The wow. boys up at Newey, they'd be happy. Woo, breathe all, easy. All his supporters and family be happy. Dallas Singer, congratulations for bringing your A game when it counted. Congratulations to Pierre-Louis Costes for booking himself in the round of 16. The world title chase is still alive. Yes. Ryan Hardy's through. Jeff Hubbard's through. Pierre-Louis Costes is through. GT Glamour Tobago. He's got to wait and see what happens. Wow. But three of the four will go into the next day of competition. The world Ooh. title's alive, people. <laughs> yes, it is going to be intense. PLC can now breathe. And he we look at this. This is insane to me. Look at that big wave coming in behind him. He's going to probably get cleaned up right now and jump on his board because water rushing on to the reef. These guys, there's barnacles, there's urchins, there's all kinds of things. Even jellyfish. A lot. Uh, Jared Houston said a lot of these, a lot of them are getting stung out there from the jellyfish. And I, I would consider a full suit out there <laughs> just to be covered in that for that situation. But PLC making his way onto the reef 